Welcome to On the Road Again. In today's episode, we're visiting Chinchilla in the western downs of Queensland, famous for watermelons and petrified wood. In this episode, we'll be doing some fossicking that just about anybody could do. Make sure you watch till the end so that you can see all the great pieces of petrified wood I found on this adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I release the next video. As usual, I like to begin my journey at the Information Centre, where you often find things you wouldn't expect. The Chinchilla Information Centre is no exception and I like to go to them because they often have a variety of local uh, goods, honeys, all sorts of different kinds of things. But most importantly, you can usually find out where the best camp areas are and uh, get maps, etc. The town of Chinchilla is a nice shady little spot. It's quite pleasant, got plenty of shopping. You can get all your supplies there. They have lots of information about fossicking for petrified wood with uh, maps and pamphlets that can guide you. You will also need a Queensland fossicking license as well as a specific one for the petrified wood sites. I'll leave a link below in the notes for the Queensland fossicking license which makes it much easier than doing it in the information centre which can get quite busy. You'll still have to get your petrified fossicking license at the centre. At the information centre they told me about the free camp at the Chinchilla Weir. It's a few kilometres out of town. It came highly recommended and it's quite close to the fossicking areas. It's quite a large area and there are many options for, for camping. There are even some free powered sites. You'll find a variety of facilities including toilets and a camp kitchen. There are no showers there, so you'll have to work that one out for yourself. There's a boat ramp directly ahead at the end of this road, and the weir is stocked with a variety of fish. There are picnic areas for day trippers, as well as a couple of community fire pits. I found a spot I liked right next to the weir and decided to set up there. As soon as I had my camp set up, I decided to hit the road and check out the two fossicking spots. The closest to town is Gaskies. I did a very quick recce here and then decided to move on to the second site, which is about three and a half kilometres further down the road. I must say I was starting to get pretty excited about the possibility of finding some petrified wood which in this area dates back 140 to 180 million years. That takes it back to the infamous Jurassic period when dinosaurs were walking the earth. The 
The roads out here are very good and I think that this would be a great place to bring the kids or the grandkids because they'll be sure to find some petrified wood. To get to the second site you'll be travelling on a very well maintained gravel road. Uh, I was warned that uh, you do have to be careful of trucks at some times but it'd be fine in a two wheel drive vehicle, no problem at all. The Fossicking area is about 500 metres past the turn off. On your right, there is a sign, and there's an area where you can just pull off to the side of the road. I locked the gate behind me so that none of the rocks could get away. It's quite a big space and there are a lot of different kinds of rocks. For some reason I had to walk to the edge of the boundary just so I knew how big the space was. There are holes and chunks of rock all over the place so it, it's a good idea to wear good boots.
I was so excited to try out my new pick I hadn't even bothered to take the tag off it. Spray bottle's very handy for clearing the mud off the rocks, but I wouldn't recommend shooting it towards your camera. Sometimes you just find it sitting right on top, just like that. So I was very pleased with my collection of first day finds, quite a few petrified wood samples as well as some other interesting rocks that I'm going to tumble. Then it was back to the Chinchilla Weir for some well earned rest. Next morning I was up bright and early and back to the Fossicking area. It was a very chilly morning and I decided to go down a different track this time. I pretty much walked straight in from the gate and found this well worked area. When you think about it you realise that there's basically a petrified forest in Chinchilla. You should be able to find some of the so called Chinchilla Red. And if you're really lucky you'll find some Pentazylon, a rare tree fern. I thought it was definitely worth giving this area a go. Immediately I found a small piece of petrified wood. and into the bucket it goes. I kept nearly everything I found here. It required minimal digging, I was pretty much pulling everything out by hand. Short 
This one is. It's very shiny. I'll wash it up when I get back. <laughs> If you have any idea what this might be, please let me know in the notes. I enjoyed every minute I spent here and I figure that you would have to try not to find petrified wood here. That's my bucket full. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to know what you thought of this video, so please leave comments below. And as the sun sinks slowly in the west, we bid a fond farewell to Chinchilla in Queensland.